Hey everybody, welcome back to the Med Bros channel. So today we have Court Beauty back on the channel again. Uh, we're out here visiting her. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be looking at some really gory, nasty medical footage and we're gonna see who turns away, who cannot stand the gore. And you guys can do the challenge with us. You can see if you can take the gore and the um, nasty medical images. So viewer discretion is advised for this. There's gonna be a lot of blood, you know, disturbing footage, pus and other things. Okay. So first of all, how do you how do you usually do with gore and guts and, and I'm pus? I'm perfect with it. I love watching it. I love watching pussy pimples. I love watching um, blood and gore. I don't know, not so much, but I like pus and stuff. You like pus? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you are interested in dermatology. That would be a good thing yeah, to be I interested in, actually. Abscesses. Okay, <laughs> okay. It's a weird thing to enjoy. All right, so we're gonna get right into it and we're gonna start out with this video which uh, is huge abscess on leg popped. Painful, okay? So let's get started. Why is he burning the needle? Yeah, this is a very, Super I feel like already this is a non-medical and that is absolutely an infected cyst and yeah, he, this is not the proper way to do it right off the bat. We can. Talk Wait, about. We've done hot needles in. Yeah, I know, but when it's infected like that, you want to do it by a doctor okay, and you need antibiotics. Oh, it's coming out. Oh, God. Oh, that looks nasty. Yeah, see, they're not even getting any pus or any kind of infection. That's just blood. Oh, it's been ready to come out for a while. I hold on. It's like tomato ketchup and mayonnaise. <laughs> Don't look away. I mean, this is very mild. Ready for me too. Don't squeeze it too hard. Squeeze it just it's just, just, it. just the it. more thing why I would look away is, is it's gonna hurt though when she yeah the, I don't even think they have anesthesia. Yeah, why is it's he all not coming out. like? Oh. Why is he not like in okay. pain? <laughs> okay, relieve it. I'm not yeah, gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna push it anymore. There's more. There's a lot more. To there come is. Out. The, 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 it's coming out now. Uh, you're not so getting any of it so far. It for a second. Yeah, they haven't gotten any like cheesy. They've stuff. not. Yeah, they haven't gotten anything in there. <laughs> Just blood oh, that they're draining. Disgusting. The only yeah, reason I would look away from this is the horrific <laughs> non-medical no, treatment. Just, just not coming out from that one. Let me. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, it's dripping out. It's dripping down his leg. Oh, oh that is like pure tomato. Yeah, tomato she's ketchup. right about that. It's just blood. Oh, shit. <laughs> just blood that they've gotten so far. Tomato ketchup. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next one. This is huge cyst extraction. Awesomely gross. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ew! Oh, oh, oh. Shit. See, that's the kind of stuff you want to see when you when you take care of a cyst. That's all white blood cells. That's all. That's what a lot of people don't know what pus is. It's like white blood cells. Your neutrophils getting there. Damn, but she's doing... I think she got a majority of it. Let's see how much more is left. Bruh, she went in. <laughs> Oh, I'm so making a nice video. That was a lot. That was a lot. Oh, yeah, so you're into that kind oh, yeah. of pus juice well, right there? Like other people are. I just, like, when it's there, I watch it. It's not like I look it up and I'm subscribed to the channels, but, like, if it's there, I'll watch it. Hmm. Okay, I think we've seen enough of the abscesses. Let's move on to something cool. different. Let's move on to... Ooh, maggot removal? That is so grim. This is something you won't see every day. Oh, my God. They're just quick. That's now, the issue. Well, you won't. Now, I'm just going to put this in and just stretch it. It'll feel funny. <laughs> just let me know. Now, this is something sure. you're not into. I've never seen a maggot like that. It's just like I'm, I'm okay, thanks. I just want to, I don't want it to slip. I don't know. That's it. Piece water, so. Oh, it's common. That's it, though. It's a big one. Right? No, but like that is it. Like this one? Yeah, possibly. Oh. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, she's so calm about it. Just imagine that being inside your body. Oh my god. Okay. Disgusting. <laughs> That's that, not my favorite thing. Yeah, that one was kind of that. gross. Now we're going to look at necrosis of someone's nose after they oh. used cocaine. Yeah, what is that? It's their septum and, and their entire, like, uh, their entire nose? Like within their nose, yeah. Because what happens is, so cocaine, the way it works is yeah, it causes... 
Right, yeah. exactly. And the reason for it is you get vasoconstriction uh, and, and high, highly, um, you get lots of vasoconstriction and your vessels in your nose are really prone to be infected by that. And if it doesn't get blood to your area of your nose there, it dies. And then so basically take out the entire nose. Don't do cocaine, guys. <laughs> Now we're going to look at removing mm, gout stones and crystals. Gout stones and gout crystals and things. Yeah, I do like these. So for a lot of people that don't know, gout is when you get a lot of these little crystals, like either they're calcium or, or you know, they could be various things that can deposit, uh, like you, urate. And, and they can deposit in your joints and one of your joints are the first ones to be affected and, and is majorly affected is your first metatarsal joint which is where your toe is and it looks like that's what she has going on right now and not only can it deposit in your joints it can deposit in your soft tissue and that's when they call it tofi I don't think this is very graphic that's just cool okay so what we're gonna do now is I wanted to look at this video of a teratoma in very simple terms guys it's a cancer but instead of like a ball of skin like a tumor you usually see it's like hair and teeth are growing <laughs> yeah. that's the coolest part so you can have a bulb in your body of cancer that has teeth and hair yeah it's really unique and sometimes you can even have thyroid tissue in it and women get hyper hyperthyroid and they're like why am i getting hyperthyroid and there's this thing growing in their uterus or somewhere else in their mm -hmm. body so we're gonna see what happens when you pop one open Popping it though, that's yeah. really so nasty. <gasps> Damn, that's that is juicy. So nasty. There's hair in there too. Okay, well, sometimes I've seen way worse hair, but the amount of juiciness juice in that one was nuts. And then one just for fun, we have to we have to pay homage. Shot in Cavs history. Oh, oh, up. oh my goodness! Hayward came down. I think I will see it by now. Hayward broke his leg. Hayward has broken his leg. Hayward has broken his leg. So he basically dislocated his ankle and then he fractured his tibia. And a lot of people don't know that this is, um, I, it's bad, oh to, I mean, it's really weird to say, oh but it's not gosh. as bad as it looks. Like a lot of people think that, oh, he's never going to walk again or, oh my God, that looks so like, so gruesome. But I mean, they're going to just a uh, uh, realign his ankle and they're going to split his tibia and he should Tyree. just be fine over time like he's playing basketball right now yeah. but uh, at the time it looks really really bad it's very painful ah, but uh, as long as they don't have any really neurovascular or arterial awkward. damage at all then they should be completely okay anything, with it was just like brush this. contact yeah, bone stuff is not, by crowd i don't like bone stuff yeah. that's something i don't like bone at. crushing like i don't like looking at the bones that are one way that are supposed to usually so guys, we just had a bit of a disruption. Somebody came to the door. We had to take care of some business and then lights were moved, things happened. But we're back and we're just here for the outro. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope, stop, stop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know if you were affected by any of this or if gore is just your thing and you're just all good with this kind of medical gory kind of imagery. Seems like you were not phased by any of this. I like it. I feel like if you're a doctor and you're phased by it, that's a problem. It's a it's a problem in certain fields for sure. But even in general, like you should be prepared for things like that in emergency. You should be exposed to it, desensitized to it a little bit. Yeah, uh, I definitely feel like uh, I think over time, even if you're not desensitized to it, over time you get desensitized to it pretty quickly. Stark is going a little crazy. So we are going to end this video right there, guys. Make sure you leave a comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll be coming out with some more cool stuff soon. So subscribe and stay tuned, guys. Bye, See ya. guys. Ready? All right, guys. We just had a bit of a disruption. Somebody came to the door, this guy's been going crazy, so we have to switch.